What's going on YouTube? This is Mr. Scott on one coming to you with another fragrance review. Today we're looking at one from Bond number nine. But before we get into that and find out what that is, let's roll my music. As I said before, we're looking at one from bond number nine. But before we do that, I'd like to encourage you to like, share, subscribe. That way you can stay up on new content coming from me, Mr. Scott01. Now let's get straight into it. Today we're looking at one from the house of bond number nine, like I said. And that one is no other than RD New York from bond number nine. This one right here. It's a little different, you know, uh, the outside is a little challenging in my opinion, but that doesn't have anything to do with the scent. You know, they have uh, NYC Park, Broadway, different avenues on the outside of it. It's a little different, but I'm telling you, this scent right here is very nice for the spring and summertime months. Cap comes off pretty easy. Decent sprayer. Mm. Okay, okay. I got this one a 3.4 ounce, 100 ml bottle for around $144. On first spray with this one, I get Pettigrain, I get Neroli, I get Bergamot. Then you have that orange blossom that just stays with this through the entire fragrance. I'm a big fan of orange blossom, to be honest with you. I pick up that lemon verbena in the middle, also that jasmine, which gives it a lemony, slightly powdery smell to it. Um, I get a lot of compliments with this one. People say that they smell lavender in this one. So if you like lavender, you'll probably like this one too. For a fresh scent, this one does actually pretty good. I get about seven hours of longevity on this one. About a good three hours of moderate projection. You know, and it, it, it won't even hurt to go heavy on this one. Um, it's just that good. This one right here would also be classified as a unisex scent. Um... Me as a male, I enjoy it. A lot of women love to smell it on me. Um, and to be honest with you, I love to smell this on a woman. This is not bad at all. So it's definitely a unisex fragrance. At the bottom with this one, I get that vetiver and I get some musk. A real nice, strong musk. But when I say musk, if you don't know anything about musk, it's not like an underarm pit musk. It's a musk that's used in fragrances and is also used to help extend the life of the fragrance. It's, it's very nice strong, it lets you know it's there. Well, that's enough for me. Let's look at the official note breakdown of bond number nines. At the top, RD New York, we have Pettigrain, Bergamot, Grapefruit, Green Notes, Mandarin Orange, and Watery Notes. In the mid, we have Neroli, Lemon Verbena, Basil, Jasmine, Gardenia, Lily, and Cyclamen. And in the base, we have Oak Moss, Vetiver, Musk, and White Wood. I'd like to thank all of you for taking your time out to look at my review of Bond Number Nine's Audi New York, a very nice scent indeed. I love it. This was actually my signature scent of the summer. Um, please like, share, subscribe. Um, continue to watch. I got more things coming. You know, my videos have been spotted, but I haven't forgot you. And until then, I'll see you next time.